Hey guys, welcome back. Dream Reaver 23 here, another Minecraft Let's Play episode. This is episode 37. Sorry I haven't put up a video in a few days. I have been, one, doing schoolwork and trying to get, uh, make sure I get good grades in school. And, uh, then working as well. So, uh, I have to go into work here today and I'm just trying to put up a quick video. So this one will be rather short, I do apologize. But in it, I am presenting you a challenge. Now, you know, in the last video, I was talking about the uh, the perfect energy engine, and I've been trying to work on that to just fine-tune it. So I have made some changes, and I want to go over those with you. First off, let's start over here and see what the engine does. If you haven't seen this engine before, I will show you. There are 16 combustion engines, each routed on a, a grid 4x4, four four, so there's four engines on each section. The four engines are going into the wooden convert, uh, conductive pipes so they can get the energy out, running down a golden conductive pipe. Now each one of these engines has fuel. They have a line of fuel that goes to all of them and feeds them, keeps them good. They also have these uh, liquid teleportation pipes. These are transporting in water. <clears throat> There's four engines, so each one gets its own liquid teleportation pipe. These teleportation pipes are all set to a frequ certain frequency for each uh, section of engine. So these are frequency 12. The ones behind me, which are a little bit harder to get to, are frequency 11. Thirteen and fourteen, collectively. Um, all of this energy gets output into one energy teleportation pipe which goes to my quarries, which goes to uh, the refineries over here. The fuel is supplied going out through teleportation pipes as well. So these, uh, the teleportation pipes for the fuel are all on frequency 10, and they come out uh, back there, actually. They go into this tank, the refinery goes and fills this tank and pulls out through there. It stays up and gets, it, it stays caught up, no problem. But the problem that I'm having is the water. The engines, they'll maintain equilibrium for a while to where they stay cool. And you don't have to worry about that. But they still overheat. They explode. And that's pissing me off. I want to make it to where this is a set it and forget it. You know, turn it on and don't have to worry about it. I've tried running through a few different things. One thing I tried doing was setting up a timer. So if we look at this timer right here. Uh, this is just using the red power mod. So this is uh, the timer interval, and then you have an RS latch here. So I tried setting it up for 15 minutes, and then with a two-minute cooldown, or a one-minute cooldown. I've tried setting it up for 10 minutes, for 5 minutes, for 20 minutes. I've tried different things, and it's very random, the cooling speed. Sometimes the engines will go, I've had them to where the engines are going for two or three hours and they don't blow up. And then I've had them go for five minutes and they blow up. So it's, it's kind of annoying. So my challenge to you guys is to take this map, use this engine layout and everything like that, and see if you can figure out some way for the timing or whatever it is to where they are maintaining... Equilibrium. They stay cool. You can keep it and, and don't have to worry about the engines blowing up. Um, post your responses down in the comments below. Put uh, map responses and everything like that. I am going to be putting this up in the forums so that we have some more challenges or some more uh, challenges, I guess, coming in and trying to do this because I want to make a perfect, perfect engine for this. I know we don't have much time before the new mod drops down or the new update drops down. And uh, but this is something that I want to get perfect. So maybe, and it might be a thing to where we have to wait until there's a new update to Buildcraft. It might be just something that's wrong with the engines on there. But that's my challenge for you guys: make this engine work to where it goes through perfect equilibrium, and you know, keep an eye on it, make sure it's not going to blow up. I don't know what I'm going to do for the winter, but uh, you know, we'll figure something out. Post your responses back, guys. I have to go get ready for work. This is my challenge to you. Make the perfect engine. All right, guys. I will see you guys next time, and I'm going to have a longer video.
next time, but right now I've just been trying to get this thing taken care of. So, see you next time, guys. Dreamweaver23, and I'm out of here.